வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் பிரியா சைனிங் இன் ஃப்ரம் பிளானட் பிரியா ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஹேட் அ லவ்லி வீக்கெண்ட் ஃபார் சம் இட் வாஸ் அ தேங்க்ஸ் கிவிங் வீக்கெண்ட் ஸோ ஹாப்பி தேங்க்ஸ் கிவிங் காய்ஸ் அண்ட் தேங்க் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் யுர் கண்டினியூட் சப்போர்ட் அண்ட் லவ் டு த சேனல் தேங்க் யூ அகேன் and uh, for this week i've had a very hot demand from my viewers and my friends for my nostalgic fish curry uh, to be uploaded uh, as a video in english so i've taken that request up and i'm going to upload the video in english this time and uh, we're going to recreate the same dish and i'm hoping you'll all recreate the same dish and have a good weekend with the fish curry the amazing fish curry of my grandmothers and uh, come on let's see you in the kitchen then all right guys let's look into what all we need to make this uh, traditional fish curry i have taken a mud pot here uh, if you don't have a mud pot it's all right you can make it in any steel pot it would uh, be just the same but mud pot gives its unique flavor and obviously it's a traditional curry i've always make it a mud pot and fish here i've taken smelt fish uh, smelt fish uh, i've marinated with little chili powder and salt and any fish you take sea bass or um, uh, any fish which is available in your area lemon salt palm frets anything just marinate them in little chili powder and salt and uh, leave it for 15 20 minutes and then i've taken small onions uh, which is around 8 to 10 in numbers uh, if you don't have small onions regular onions is okay too the curry will taste just the same and then i've taken one large tomato chopped and then about 8 7 to 8 cloves of garlic curry leaf a small piece of jaggery and a lemon sized ball of uh, tamarind which we're going to soak to make the base of the curry and i've taken a teaspoon of cumin powder fennel powder little turmeric and then i've taken around 4 to 5 teaspoons of chili and coriander powder mixed uh, many had questions about what is the proportion it's uh, it's just 1 is to 2 one spoon of chili powder to two spoons of coriander powder or you can adjust it according to your taste and the spice and then i've taken salt and mustard seeds and methi seeds uh, little and this one is uh, called uh, vadagam which is nothing but dried uh, uh, dried onions and garlic and pounded which is given from my mother i'm just using it to give a special hint but if you don't have it it's all right but it's available in all asian supermarkets too and i've taken a mix of vegetables drumstick raw banana and um, eggplant and mangoes mangoes are going to be added at the last and then uh, you have to cut the vegetables in that proportion so that everything gets cooked on time um i've kept a mud pot and i poured uh, sesame oil to the pot but uh, sunflower oil is all right too then we are going to add mustard seeds and methi seeds to the oil and go i'm going to wait until the mustard and methi pops then we are going to add the vadagam which we talked to you about it's nothing but dried onion and garlic all pounded together sent over uh, from my mom So once the mustard seeds and methi seeds pop then we will uh, or uh, then we will add the vadagam we'll wait for a second now goes into the, the vadagam it gives an amazing smell now in goes the onions and garlic give it a good mix I used a lot of oil. It does look like a lot of oil, uh, like a three big spoons of oil, but it gives more flavor to the curry uh, because we are adding a lot of chili powder and tamarind. It would come into a beautiful concoction and it will create a wonderful balance. It might look a lot now, but when you make the curry, it will be perfect. Uh, keep frying the onions. So you need to know once the mud pot. becomes hot the cooking is very easy to do and the onion and the garlic are frying really well now add the curry leaves to it and keep stirring keep frying now when it's done then you add the tomatoes in and then keep sauteing or keep frying and uh, add a little salt to it so that that the onion and the tomato releases some water and then it will cook fine and 
let's talk about how to season a mud pot here a mud pot cannot be bought from the shop straight away and put it on a flame in a high flame it cracks so you need to keep the mud pot in a medium flame and heat water in it and then pour the water out and then do the same repeat the process again and again until the mud pots become seasoned and um, so that's how you need to season a mud pot slowly and it should be always used on a medium flame not in a very high flame even when you are using the mud pot if you are planning to buy one that is the instruction of how to season a mud pot now the onions and tomatoes are frying out very well and they look quite translucent uh, every time i make this curry it just brings back a lot of memories of uh, how my grandmother used to make the curry the smell of it the aroma which just used to fill up the home and one that's nicely done now we are going to add all the vegetables except for the mangoes so in goes the drumstick in goes the raw banana in goes the eggplant and keep frying them give it a good mix let them all cook very well in the oil now i'm going to leave it on a little simmer and we are going to make the base of this curry uh, you know i already soaked some tamarind in water and i may taken out the tamarind pulp So to this tamarind pulp I'm going to add some turmeric powder some fennel powder some cumin powder and then about 4 to 5 big spoonfuls of chili powder this is in the proportion of 1 is to 2 so one proportion of chili powder to two proportions of uh, coriander powder and then finally salt now give all this a very good mix and make it into a nice saucy kind of a thing you'd feel the thickness you'll feel the consistency and make sure that the spices all blend in the water properly and you you'd be immediately able to see the texture of the curry too now now you can see the vegetables are uh, nicely getting roasted in the uh, oil now add some piece of jaggery to them to the vegetables into a pot and pour the entire tamarind mixture into the mud pot and uh, just top it over with some water so that the vegetables can cook well So that's done now. Uh, all right, now all the veggies are in. Everything is in. Salt, tamarind, everything. Uh, the spices have to blend, and it will come to an amazing uh, uh, concoction. And uh, you will know the curry is ready only when the oil starts to float on the top of the curry. It will have to take its time to boil for the raw smell or rawness of all the spices to go away. So until then, you don't have to disturb the curry at all. Just let it be. Uh, let it take its time to uh, cook. And don't close the pot when cooking this curry. Uh, just leave the pot open. That's quite important too, so that all the uh, the curry comes to the right proportion. So until then you can uh, just mix the curry now and then but uh, don't stir it too much just let it cook on its own so uh, you can see that it's just starting to boil and i have not seen any oil which is surfacing just yet uh, it will take about uh, 10 10 minutes at least for oil to surface and then we'll see it once it's done yeah uh, you can see the oil is surfacing can you see the oil's come up really well now put the uh, pan on sim and now add your mango The fish and the mango will take nearly the same time to cook in this. So that's done. So I've added the mango and give it a minute and then let the mango settle in. Then I'm going to drop the fish one by one. 
So then the fish goes in, find a space, and then just drop the fish in. So when you're dropping the fish in, after you drop the fish in, you should never keep stirring the pot because that will break the fish. And uh, the, uh, because the fish is a very, uh, cooks very quickly. So just drop the fish in wherever you find space. So I'm doing that right now. Done. And slowly, just very, very gently do that. And in medium flame, let it cook on medium flame for a few minutes and the fish will be ready. Let's wait for it to be cooked. Uh, you can see the oil has surfaced very beautifully. The uh, veggies are cooked perfect and the fish is also cooked fine. Once it comes to that stage, you just have to hold the pot and slowly mix it like this. All right, just once, give it a swirl. And then top it off with nice fresh coriander leaves. And your fish curry is ready to go. So there you have it, the finished dish, the nostalgic traditional fish curry uh, from my grandmother's recipe, served with hot rice and I've accompanied it with deep fried silver fish, which is very tasty and the recipe will follow soon. So until then, enjoy the curry you can see the fish is cooked to perfection with all the veggies enjoy guys and i'm gonna enjoy the curry now bye hey hope you guys enjoy this lovely dish you just recreated now and have a lovely lovely weekend with your family with my with the fish curry and uh, this is priya signing off from planet priya tara for now and uh, coming weeks we'll uh, enjoy more into Christmas because it's Christmas already eh? and I miss the season of Christmas so much. So let's see you all soon. Take care until then. Bye-bye.